All right, thanks for coming to the website tonight. I wanted to keep it uh, kind of short. Just kind of remind you of some of the details we talked about in class. Uh, first of all, uh, remember you got those 10 problems for homework, and on the first five, you're supposed to uh, check them to make sure you got the right answer. Uh, what I wanted to remind you of is that when you're checking them, um, take the answer that you got, like if you got like X equals 2, then wherever the X is in the equation, you're going to take parentheses, all right, you're going to take parentheses, and you're going to put the, um, the 2 into that spot. And then you're going to work that side of the equation out to see if it ends up being the same as the answer. Um, and we wrote that down in class, so you should have some notes to look at to kind of remind you of what I just talked about. So you could, if you if you needed to, you could get those out, watch this video, and then that can kind of remind you of exactly how class went. Um, also, if you're in my third, fourth, or fifth period class, then um, you had number lines that you were supposed to be graphing for 6 through 10. Um, if you're in my 8th period class, we, we kind of ran short on time, so we didn't get to talk about that yet, but we're going to do that in class tomorrow. So if you wanted to go ahead and take care of that tonight at home, then you'd already have it done. Um, anyway, but for 3rd, 4th, and 5th, you got to have it done. Um, and some the, the three main details that I wanted to make sure that you took care of, I talked about in class today, was that number one, when you draw that number line, make sure it looks like a number line. And number two, put when you draw that number line, make sure you put the number of the answer that you got on there. So if you got like X is less than six, then you would put six on the number line. And the other number that I wanted you to put was zero. So you'd put the six somewhere on the number line, and then you would put the zero either, you know, in front of it or behind it, depending on what the number was. And then that I could possibly sure, the third thing I needed to make sure was that you, for sure, positively, I could very easily see whether it was an open circle or a closed circle, and whether it was going to the left or to the right. Um... Just some kind of details I wanted to remind you of. So make sure you take care of those. Get those problems done. Study your legal notes. You have a legal notes quiz on Thursday. Don't have to study all of them tonight. Just study some of it. If you divide it up into three nights, then it's not that big of a deal. Again, thanks for coming to the website. We'll see you tomorrow.